Okay. I am upset again. This time I think I'm a little bit more hurt. I think my feelings are a little bit more hurt. Um, I just got another phone call for a placement today that didn't go through. Um, these phone calls are extremely, I don't know, they're just a lot. Because on one hand, you get really excited. On the other hand, you know, by this point, I'm just like, well, I'll believe it when a baby's sitting in my arms. So I get a phone call from my agency, Kevin, we have a child. This child is, you know, was born premature with drugs in his system and he was at the hospital. They were gonna have me go pick up the child from the hospital because they were being discharged today. I didn't call, I called three people. Because at this point, I'm just tired of making all the phone calls, getting super excited and then get another phone call saying, hey, it's not happening. So, you know, my agency calls me, they tell me that, I say, yes, I'll take this child. He was only, he is only one month old. And he then goes to, I'm sorry, and then, so I'm waiting and waiting and I reach out to my agency again. I said, hey, have you heard anything? Uh, and um, they then said, yeah, I just spoke to the worker and she said she went with another family. And then I called the worker because I had the worker's number and I said, hey, I was just calling to check what's going on. This all happened at like the same time. And the worker says to me, oh yeah, sorry, I went with another, I, I went with another family. And she said, I, I had a bunch of options and I picked another family and I was like uh, okay what was wrong with me now when I first got the phone call from my agency my agency had told me that they were concerned about you know can I do this do I have enough help things like that um, and my agency assured them like he has taken care of newborn newborn babies that were only a couple weeks old He's had two children, two babies at one time. Like he is fully capable of doing this. And so when I was talking to the actual county worker on the phone and I said, um, you know, well, I straight up said to her, I said, well, what was wrong with me? And she said, oh, no, no, it, it's great that there's single parent, single fathers out there. And that was my red flag. I was like, oh, so you're profiling me. You might not intentionally be doing it. You might not know what you're doing, but you're profiling me. Because why would that have ever needed to be said? Why, would, why were you already questioning if I'm capable of this? You know I'm capable of it because I've been licensed to do this this shouldn't be even a question. It should be, he's licensed. He said he'll do it. Let him do it. Let me turn off this. Sometimes the AC gets loud. So then she says, you know, I, it's not, it's great that there's single fam, single fathers out there and but you know, I got, I had a, a other options and I went with another option and um, you know, I, I think that's when I said, well, what was wrong with me? And she then said, oh no, it was actually the complete opposite. I heard so many good things about you. I actually heard so many good things and I'm just like confused. Like if you heard so many good things about me, what's the problem here? But me say even even in like i even know that me saying i was profiled is an opinion of mine i don't know if that was the case but what i'll say is like this stuff is just 
really intense. Like I was getting some things out and I was like trying to set up like the bassinet. I got the stroller back out because I had put everything away. And I even in that moment told myself, don't get these things out. Just wait till this child's here. But I said, I don't, I don't want the social worker to show up or whatever and see that things aren't set up. So let me get it out. I'm sure this is gonna go through and this is gonna happen. And I kind of just allowed myself to do that. And then, you know, time goes by and I find out I'm not getting this child. So it's just so frustrating. And the crappy thing is like, you're just like, I don't even know. I don't even want to talk about this anymore. So exhausted from it all. Um, you just get tired. I just get tired of it. Like there's, there's a part of me that's just like, I just don't want to do this anymore and try other methods and, but even in that, like all the other methods have their pain points and their struggles. And part of me doesn't want to share any of this. Part of me doesn't want to talk about any of this. Actually, a big part of me doesn't want to talk about any of this, doesn't want to put this video out. But I also know how many people it helps to see all sides of this. So I'm just tired. I'm just really tired and frustrated. You got this great guy here who has so much love to give, who is approved and has done everything I need to do on my end. My side of the street is clean. I'm good. Like, And again, this is happening again. This is, you know, we're having issues with, it's like, don't call, don't make the calls. Don't call five people. If one person says they'll do it, one, then stick with that person. Don't call backups. You're just getting people excited. You're getting people changing things. Like, just don't. But anyway, so now, I go through it all, I keep waiting for that call. I guess, I don't know, I'm, I'm angry. I don't know what's going on. <sighs> anyway, that's it, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm gonna keep going forward, I'm gonna keep trying, I'm gonna keep doing my best to Stay as positive as possible. Another thing that's bothering me is like, you know, oh, well, that wasn't the right one or that one wasn't meant to be. The more and more like this stuff happens, the more and more like, I, I can't even hear that. I don't even want to hear that. Like, it's just like, whatever, sure. You start, you start stopping to believe in like energy and even that like God's in this sometimes. Like sometimes I'm like, where are you at? <laughs> this doesn't make sense and then I see people with like five six seven kids in their house foster parents you know how's that how's that make sense but anyway I do know that you know with younger kids it's harder to get younger kids placed in your home. Overall, I'm just tired of like the back and forth of it all. Not like physically tired, just like, like, oh my goodness, like here we go again with the, you know, the gaslighting and the system. but that's what you're embarking on, I guess. So I hope the next video I put out is a really happy, uplifting video with a baby. Bye.